Hello everybody. Today we're going to be going over the Lab Assault Safe and Easy method. All that matters for this particular strat is that you have a Master Blaster type gun. These stats don't matter. It doesn't matter. Any of this it doesn't really matter. You just have to have a gun that can do something like this. Where you can hit a target without hitting it directly. That's the only important part. So whether you're on an Eevee or a Ranger or a Huntress, it doesn't matter. So again, Lab Assault difficulty is as far as you can go. The more defensive points you have, the better. The more health you have, the better. Because you will be taking a couple hits. It's not a flawless strategy, but it is extremely easy. So first, we'll just head on over to this conveyor belt. Hop over to this. You can see the crystal right there. We can usually just hit it from right there. Then we hop over this. Away from the ogre. Then we head on over to crystal number two. We hop on that bar. And the crystal's kind of right there. You can hit it if you just shoot right there. Then on the crystal three, we can actually see it already. And I prefer... There's a couple different methods, but I prefer just going like this and jumping right over. It's fairly simple. Keep moving as things will be thrown and shot at you. And then go back over the railing then up and over once again. Hop. If you can hit that railing and hop again, that's great, but otherwise, just keep going. This electric field, despite being able to kind of go into it, doesn't really hurt you, so don't worry so much about it. And then the last crystal is back there. With certain ray guns, you can hit it through the wall if the AoE is big enough, but if you don't have one uh, that's good enough, like I don't, what you can do is just slowly whittle these guys down until they're no longer a problem. They don't seem to be able to hop over the ledge or the railing. And then you can see the crystal right there. Just shoot around that corner. And that's all four crystals. But the hardest part is yet to come. We have to kill a whole bunch of Eevees, specifically 20. I believe it's 20 for every difficulty. And they can, in Nightmare and Higher, have millions of health per unit. However, their AI is terrible. All I want to do is walk toward you and shoot. And if they get hit, and I'm not too sure on this, but I'm pretty sure if you hit beside them, they want to hop around a lot. It might just be them taking damage makes them hop. Not really sure, but it doesn't really matter. The important thing is that they hop. So if you stand here, as they're coming out all over the map, you can see they're hopping. They don't care where they hop. They just want to hop and move. As long as you're taking damage, they will be hopping. Depending on the luck. Normally this goes a little smoother. But you see they're just hopping right down into the abyss. You just kind of get to one side, keep pushing them around. And eventually, they will get over there. It's a little easier sometimes than others. Sometimes their AI will not work with you, as it's not working very well with me right now. But the majority of them should die simply to gravity, like that. If you end up having to kill a couple, it's fine. I would definitely recommend practicing on non-hardcore first. So you get a better feel for it. And at least from my experience, this corner is typically the best place you want to be. There's a lot of cliff for them to fall. And they are usually more than happy to hop off. I would show you a perfect video of everything going great and everything going fine, but that would be a little misleading. As you can see, sometimes they just they don't want to cooperate. You just gotta stay far back so they don't triple shot you too much. Check your map to see where they are. Looks like one fell inside. And then just keep herding them toward the ledge. Oh, well, I guess I killed that one automatically. Or by, by normal methods. 
Now, this map also has an issue of EVs getting stuck in terrain. Another reason why a big AoE weapon like this is nice. Looks like she fell through and onto part of the terrain down there without hitting the death plane. And you can see this one did it as well. But, with a shot or two... Well, she would have eventually fallen to her death. But that's it! You get a whole bunch of cool mythical stuff. If you're on hardcore, you get extremely good stuff, and every difficulty level you push gets you better and better gear. But, that's all for today, so thanks for coming, thanks for watching, and see you next time.